In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a water cooler using Peltier Chip thermoelectric coolers. These chips operate based on the Peltier thermoelectric effect. Whenever an electric current is applied to the chip, heat is transferred from one side of the chip to the other. You can see that when I connect the electricity here, this side of the chip gets hot. If I flip it over, the other side of the chip gets cold whenever electricity is applied. The way this will work is I've got a CPU heatsink from an old computer. and I'm going to interface the hot side of the Peltier chip with the heatsink. For the cold side, I've got this aluminum block with channels cut out on the inside so water can flow through. And I'm going to interface that so that water flowing through the aluminum block is cooled by the Peltier chip. The heat from the Peltier chip is conducted through these copper pipes into the aluminum manifolds where it's released to the atmosphere. So to get things started, I put a small dot of thermal grease on the CPU cooler. I then took the hot side of the Peltier chip and pressed it into the grease, pressing down firmly so that the grease would smush its way all the way to the outside of the chip. Then on the top side of the Peltier chip, the cold side, I put another dot of thermal grease and then pressed in the aluminum water cooling block. Again, pressing down firmly so that the grease would work its way all the way to the outside of the chip. Then I took a strip of electrical tape and wrapped it around all the parts just to hold everything in place. On the sides of all the components, I wiped off any excess thermal grease that had leaked out and then put in place a small piece of aluminum foil tape to hold them all together more rigidly. And I repeated this process on the other side, again wiping off the thermal grease and then planting in the tape. After I had everything in place on that heat sink, I went ahead and repeated the process with another chip and a different heat sink. Next came the step of putting on the fans for the heat sinks. This one held in with clips, and this one I just used more of that metal tape. Now for my design, I wanted to conjoin my two coolers together. So I laid down a couple lines of quick drying acrylic glue on the top of one of the cooling blocks. And then I grabbed my other cooler and just pressed it down directly on top, wiggling it around a little bit to make sure the glue came into contact with each of the surfaces. Once my glue had set up, I put the whole assembly down on a wooden plank and traced around it with a pen so I could cut out two holes big enough to fit both of the fans. I put some braces on the outsides and then laid down some lines of hot glue inside of all the wooden frames and then fitted the entire assembly down inside. At this point, I grabbed all of my positive wires and twisted all the frayed ends together and then soldered it into an 8mm bullet connector. With the positive done, the process for the negative side is exactly the same. Just twist all the braids together and then solder them together into a 8mm bullet connector. Once those are soldered, I press some heat shrink tubing over the whole thing and shrunk it down with a torch. All that's left to do now is to lay down two lines of hot glue and press both of the bullet connectors into the inside. At this point, I just took some latex tubing and connected it to the pump and to all of the water cooling blocks and then ran all the right tubes to the front. And there you have it, a completed Peltier thermoelectric water cooling device. This machine runs on 12 volts DC from another computer power supply at around 150 watts. Now I found the minimum operating temperature for this to be about 6.8 degrees Celsius. So it's perfect for doing long distillations, or if you've got a long reaction that needs to be kept cold, you can use this sort of device for that. This machine is very quiet, and it can run for hours on end without stopping. If you guys like this video, I hope you leave a like and subscribe, and be sure to leave lots of comments, I love reading your guys' thoughts. And let me know what you want to see in the future, stay tuned for more projects to come soon, and thank you guys for watching.